What's going on, beautiful people? Machiavelli Mills TV. Y'all hit that like button, hit the like button, hit the like button, and also hit that subscribe button as well. I appreciate you all for uh, taking the time out to watch these videos and support my channel. It really means a lot. So going forward, I'm going to do something a little different on my channel. I'm going to discuss some of my favorite television shows that I like to watch, all-time television shows, and I'm going to discuss important episodes from those shows, right? Those who are not new to my channel know that I'm a huge fan of The Walking Dead. It's one of my favorite shows ever created in life, right? Um, the Walking Dead is a, is a TV show about the world going through a zombie apocalypse, and we're following a group of individuals, a group of individuals led by uh, Rick Grimes, a man who was a former police officer. And we watch him and his family and his and friends, that, people that he, meet during the, he meets during the apocalypse. That we watch them navigate the world while the zombie apocalypse is occurring. So uh, one of the episodes that I feel like is one of the most important episodes of this show is season two, episode eight, Nebraska. Right in the in the Walking Dead's prime, the writing was absolutely brilliant. I mean, the the the, the storylines, so on and so forth, the situations that occurred, magnificent. The acting was top tier, without question. The episode of Nebraska is important for a lot of different reasons. This episode marks the beginning, where where the group recognizes that in in an apocalyptic world. Zombies are not their worst fear. It's other human beings. Because in regular society, right, they are crazy, uh, I mean, deranged, evil, manipulative, uh, conniving, despicable people. In a regular world without an apocalypse. Can you imagine what people become in a world where, in a lawless world, with no police to keep things in order? Can you imagine the type of human beings that will be wandering and roaming the earth? Even in a situation where it's life and death against zombies, people will still be the worst versions of themselves. And that is what Rick and his group see, right? This also marks the beginning of when we see, well, when Herschel himself, Herschel the farmer, he recognizes that Rick is, he needs Rick. And Rick is necessary for his group survival, his family survival. And Rick should be the leader of the group. Um, you hear my son in the background, he's watching the jungle book, having the time of his dang on life. But nonetheless, man, um, let's, I'm going to tell you all what happens prior to. So Rick, of course, he stumbles upon Herschel's farm. He, he goes and finds Herschel's farm after his son, uh, Carl is shot. Uh, uh Herschel nurses, nurses Carl back to health. Uh, they're staying on Herschel's farm and Herschel eventually tells the group, Hey, you gotta go. You gotta go. You cannot stay here. This is a short stop for you all. I helped your son get back to health. Uh, once your son gets fully healed, you all have to move along. Rick is begging and pleading Herschel to please let us stay. We have nowhere else to go. This is the best situation for many of, of us and our family. Please, we'll help you out. We'll chip in. Let us stay. Herschel says, absolutely not. You cannot stay here. So um, at some point, the group recognizes that they, they realize that Herschel is having is holding up walkers, meaning zombies, in his barn. Walkers that he finds along the way and individuals in his family who have been bitten and then later on turn into zombies. Because in Herschel's mind, he feels like I have to keep these individuals alive because they're still human beings and there may be hope to save them, to turn them back into their human form one day if we find this cure. And so he's been feeding him, feeding these zombies, so on and so forth, while they're being held up in his barn and they're being concealed in a barn, right? Uh, the group discovers the uh, the zombies. Rick and his group dis uh, dis discovers the walkers or the zombies. And they kill every single zombie in the barn. Herschel loses his mind. He gets pissed off because in his mind, he's come up to, he, he's come to the conclusion that uh, these zombies are still real people. He's, he's delusional, right? He's not. He hasn't been in the real world. He's just been on his farm. He doesn't really know what can come from these zombies. In his mind, oh my God, Rick and his crew just killed my family. Uh, my family who was bitten by zombies, he killed them and other innocent people. Oh my God, they have to go. This is vile. This is vile. Herschel leaves and goes into town. He goes to the bar. While he's in the bar, Rick and Glenn, uh, they seek out Herschel. They find him in the bar. They try to convince him to come back. 
and then also, of course, convince them, convince him to let them stay. In the course of Rick talking to her, to Herschel, trying to convince him to let him stay and, and tell him to come back to the farm, uh, uh, two other individuals come into the barn. These individuals are strangers to the crew, to the group, and they are shady individuals. They're trying to see where Rick and Herschel and everybody and everyone else is held up because they want to join their group. Join. I use that with quotations. These group of men are shysty. They want to take over the group for them for themselves, and they you, they clearly have a bad aura around them. In the bigger individual, the bigger guy, the way he talks about needing to get some some sex or some a piece of ass, he says. You can tell this man. This is what this man is worried about. Worried about in the apocalypse. You can tell he's a vile individual. He's a man who will take anything and any woman and try to have his way with her. You can tell he's this is. He's just not, these are not good men. They're trying to get Rick to tell them, hey, where are you held up? We're going to come there. Rick says, hell no, we won't go, right? You're not coming over here. We don't have a, we're not held up anywhere. I can't tell you where we at, so you you can't come where we are. You got to keep going. And Rick says, where you, where you, where do, I mean, the guy that's talking to Rick says, where do you expect us to go? The guy says, I hear, I mean, Rick says, I hear Nebraska's pretty nice. Because the group, the guy, the guy who was talking to Rick, he brings up the fact that some people have headed to Nebraska for safe haven. And so when Rick says, you can't come with our group, one of the guys, one of the two guys says, hey, where we going to go? Rick says, I hear Nebraska's nice. So at this point, the guy starts laughing at Rick, said, oh, my God, Rick, this, is, this guy's a piece of work. He tries to draw his gun on Rick. Rick recognizes the situation, shoots and kills both men. Right. And this marks the point where we see the group or anyone from the group kill human beings. That's when they recognize that these men can like I mean, not men, people in general, human beings can be horrible, despicable people. And the group finds this out on a consistent basis after this. But this marks the first time where we walk, we, where we encounter a group or, or, or a couple of people who are heinous who we know it can feel have done horrific things. And it's like, nah, Rick said, hell no. Nah. Rick has to think on the fly, on the, has to think like without any type of um, second guessing himself. He got to think on the fly and make a decision. And he makes the decision that's necessary for the group. There's no hearing these guys out. These guys are not going to take no for an answer. They're not coming to be diplomatic with nobody. They were trying to push and shove and bully their way into the group. But unbeknownst to them, they're dealing with Rick Grimes. Rick Grimes don't give a fuck. What you talking about? Who you think you are? Brother, you ain't coming. With, I said what I said, and that's, that's where it stands. But that's an interesting dynamic between um, the crew. Glenn and Rick and Herschel and the two men who are trying to pirate their way into the group. At first, you watch Glenn's eyes, and the acting is top tier. Glenn, at first, Glenn thinks this is a conversation between Rick and these two men. He thinks this is a simple conversation. Of, hey, we want to come here. Can we come where you are? But then, then his eyes and his facial expressions, they change. He recognizes that this is not a conversation. This is a confrontation. And he quickly realizes, he realizes it quick. And that's when he says, oh, my fucking God. What is going to happen? His, his, his face, you see it on his face. He says, what the fuck are we going to do? And Rick had all, Rick already knew this is what it being a police officer. He knew what type of men these guys were. He knew it was no negotiating with them. He knew he had to kill them. It was only a matter of time and when he was going to kill them. And he took the opportunity for when the guy was talking before Rick drew, got him up out of there quick. And Herschel realized I need this guy, Rick, in my, in my crew. I need him to help protect my family because I don't have the, that ability and he doesn't have that quick judgment. Herschel is in his, his mind. He's thinking people are people. And a lot of the people haven't, haven't experienced much type of despair. So they probably would have accepted the crew with open arms and showed them love and embrace. And that crew would have taken advantage of them and the women in the crew. They would have done whatever they wanted to do to them in the most vile fashion. Rick says, hell the fuck now. You got to go. And kills them on the spot. And that's when we realize that, again, Human beings are the worst people during this time. We see the worst versions of people when the world is in chaos. And Rick makes waste of them. And then 
we re re first, you know, you thinking, damn, some people, some people were watching this show, recognize, damn, did Rick do the right thing? But a lot of us knew he did the right thing. But little did we know, this is going to be a regular occurrence. Rick is going to have to use his better judgment to decide if certain individuals can come into their group and if others can't. And it is what it is. And we see that, hey, Rick stands on his guns. And Rick, he, he shows that, hey, I'm not, I'm a force to be reckoned with. But at the same time, I'm not going to let nobody push us over. And we're going to have to stick together to get through any of this. Glenn recognizes this world is not as lily, as, as flowers and daisies as I think it is outside of the zombies. Because I'm sure Glenn was at that point thinking that outside of the zombies, the zombies are the worst things walking around. No, it's people. It's people. Because in a lawless society, people will be the worst versions of themselves. If they already are criminals and despicable people, they're going to be even worse because there are, there's no law and order to keep things uh, in bounds, in line. And the episode in Nebraska shows what the group and crew will be dealing with going forth and how they must handle it in the right way, the Rick Grimes way. Peace.